So today we have a new challenger in the monster category of smartphone. This thing is coming for the crown. It's crazy how powerful smartphones are getting in 2021. I mean, this is just out of control. mobile game streamer this is it look at this with the camera this in front of me is the legion phone dual 2 from lenovo and i have two of them in front of me right now on my left is ultimate black and on the right is titanium white we're talking about a dual battery setup 90 watt charging we're talking about a 144 hertz display like I said, it's coming for the champion status. I mean, this is a serious unboxing experience. It makes it feel as if you have purchased like a laptop or something. Of course, you're gonna have a Snapdragon 888 in there. Dolby Atmos also listed. I assume audio performance is also going to be a focus of this device. And actually, if I flip this around here, you can see the spec on this one is 16 gigs of RAM, 512 gigs of storage. Ooh, look at this. Oh, baby. All right. How about that for an unboxing experience? It all lifts up. It elevates into two pull tabs. How many times do you think the average person is going to complete this task right here? I don't know. For me, I'm good for a dozen. Savage inside. Whoa. All right. So here is the device. What a beast. Look at the cooling. Look at the fan. I've been told this is the world's first dual fan design inside of what I feel like I can call this a super phone at this point. Like what an absolute beast this thing is. You can see we have different indications of what is everywhere. So touch key L1, touch key L2. So haptic inputs for variety of games that support it. Turbo fan two. This is your power switch, which has a texture on it. You know I'm a fan of that. Plus, you have your pop-up front camera, which is landscape. You saw this on the previous version. Uh, this is so you can actually live stream, play your games, and capture your face camera at the same time. So that's an innovative way of dealing with that from landscape mode. Over on the other side over here, we have our touch key R1 and R2. Of course, uh, that's the same on the right-hand side as the left-hand side. Turbo fan number one is down here, and this is built in. No separate attachment necessary. Type C connector, which is in landscape mode as well. So you can get full power to your unit while you are gaming a landscape game. You have your volume rocker up above that. But here's the bonus. You've also got your USB type C connector down on the bottom when you're using the device in standard portrait mode as you would a smartphone. So a couple of different type C connectors to choose from. Imagine that your smartphone with two separate type C connectors, your SIM card tray is down there as well. I'm going to put this to the side from it. Look at the camera. Lit. Let me put this to the side for a moment and look at the other items in the box. Stylish outside. Of course, we have a custom case, which is going to allow for all the necessary cutouts for cooling, as well as your variety of ports and controls. Uh, that's a key with this device. It might be difficult to find a case for it since it has this variety of unusual inputs. So it's nice that the manufacturer takes care of you straight in the box. Also in here, we have a type C to mini jack. And last up in here, we have our SIM card tool and they carried the Legion logo over onto the SIM card tool. Now inside this next box where it says Savage inside, I presume we're going to see our power components. Oh my God. Goodness gracious. This is our power brick. This is a dual type C charger, 90 watt fast charging through the dual type C connectors. I recall this from the previous version. You can actually use the various ports in tandem to feed even more power through to the 5,500 milliamp hour battery, which is in there in two separate cells. So that is some very fast charge, 90 watt charging couple of cables. It is two USB type C cables. What's cool here is there's actually a little styling touch on this. 
see the red color red and black it has a five amp indication on there as well so two of those included in the package all right let's remove the wrapper now and check out the finish on this device it's crazy how powerful smartphones are getting 2021 i mean this is just out of control whoa so you know right away you're dealing with something different here the entire form factor i mean it feels like a serious piece of machinery it has some more weight to it as you'd expect with this advanced cooling but it does it feels surprisingly balanced all things considered you have a lot of the weight here in the center and actually a nice little resting point for your index finger up along top look at that thing that is so futuristic that is uh that's some neo tokyo looks to it wow boom now, of course, you have RGB on the back as well. You have a dual camera setup by the looks of it. You have, obviously, your flash module and a real fan over here and also over here. That is crazy. Now, as far as the finish is concerned, it's a slick touch to it. It does have some texture along different areas. We have this metallic look and then the white on the inside, at least for this model. However, if you opt for the light, model you're not going to have any fingerprints they just won't show up on there now as far as installing the case is concerned it's going to go like this and that's pretty much that so it leaves generous cutouts for the variety of sections that you would need cutouts for this display by the way is 6.92 inches amoled 144 hertz capable Now, obviously, the other accessories will be the same in this package. Here is the black phone. Now, I'm a bit conflicted as far as which one is preferred. Normally, I would go for the black model, but this phone has so much going on that, I, you know, I feel that if you splurge on something like this, you kind of want to show it off. And in some ways, this one accentuates the uniqueness of this particular device with this central section here with the fan unit and the RGB. If you want to keep it a little bit more subdued, you have this option, although it's hard to call it subdued because it's still got a special look to it. Still RGB in the middle. You have this uh, glossy blackish bluish almost. In fact, if you look around the edge of the device and maybe I hope we can pick that up right there, you see this chamfer, this blue metallic chamfer, which your eyes will catch at a particular angle and that travels like a border around the entire device. So I don't know, you guys tell me, are you gonna go for the black model or the white model if you had your choice? All right, so there's our display, as mentioned, 144 Hertz capable. So you can be in 60 and then switch to 144. As you go into game mode, you have 90 Hertz for a slightly smoother effect with battery savings, 120 and then the ridiculous uh, 144, which I'm gonna switch it to right now because I like it to be ridiculous and then and then look i mean then we are just it is instantaneous wow okay cool now the one thing i want to check out is this camera popping up because it is so unusual look at the way they bake it in i mean if you didn't know this device you wouldn't even know that it was hidden in there i'm gonna switch to the front facing camera and look at that holy cow <laughs> look at that come up motorized which is cool enough but to see it in the landscape is something truly unique in the segment over here so i'll put it down and just one more time look at this boom wow it never gets old having a little motor on your device there's a lot of thought that went into this unlike in the past where they were just trying to get rid of the notch for the extending portrait style front facing camera this one serves a purpose beyond that which is if you're playing a game and streaming your face camera, having your camera elsewhere is a real problem. You're gonna cover it with your hand. So even if you had a hole punch design somewhere up in the corner over here, and even if you were able to not cover it with your hand, it's gonna be a weird angle. This is optimal. This is exactly where you would put a webcam on a laptop and they've found a way to integrate it here in this gaming device. So I'm gonna go ahead and snap a photo, might as well. Oh yes, okay, so there we go. That's the field of view you get. It is a very comfortable location for a face camera. You can see the beard hair test is passed as far as the selfie is concerned as well. But remember, the main focus there, the incentive there 
is for game streaming or for landscape based face interaction. So this is obviously a unique phone and it's always fun to check out something that's a little bit different with a slightly different target. And this device, I mean, it obviously has a very direct target. This is about gamers. And I really like the fact that they took into account the fact that many gamers want to do live streaming. And so they put this 44 megapixel front autofocus live stream specific camera that hides away when it's not in use that's an f 2.0 camera with an 84 degree field of view and is capable of 4k recording as well on the front facing camera which is a nice little touch obviously these shoulder buttons are a key as well and they really are an advantage in game and you'll see when we get to the gameplay portion here uh, just how much it helped me out as far as keeping my fingers my thumbs on the screen and maneuvering while i was capable of uh well pressing the trigger the capacitive touch trigger at the same time as something that's usually reserved for a dedicated controller but not the case with this particular smartphone now the display is mentioned 6.92 inches 144 hertz amoled and you can see here some of the configuration options for the rest of the device around back you can have the colors and the rgb sync to your game you can have the fan light up as well in any color it can match the remainder of the rgb now this display as mentioned 6.92 inches 144 hertz amoled 720 hertz sampling rate very vibrant 1300 nits peak and that's gonna give you up to 144 Hertz. You do not need to use all the way up there if you wanna preserve battery life though. This does have a big battery in it and it does recharge insanely fast with that 90 watt dual charger, which I'll show you more in a moment. But yeah, so you can toggle it down all the way to 60 Hertz if you want a battery preference. And then there's some other options in between, but you know, it's kind of fun to have that super fast refresh. As far as the processor goes, of course, it's a Snapdragon 888. That's what you'd expect to find in here. You can also get up to 18 gigs of RAM on this super phone. I mean, it's out of control in a good way. So here's that charging functionality. This might be my favorite feature. I know it's weird. I'm into some weird things here, but the dual turbo charge, 90 watts, dual turbo, I mean, come on just you see the two plugs go in you need to boost up the charge quickly it's kind of nice now don't get me started on the sound the sound here is banging it's loud oh they do things a little bit differently the battery is not going to be quite as big but it's gonna charge faster. So it's time to play some games, finally. And the first one that's up here is Gangstar 4. And as you can see, this one's capable of up to 90 FPS. So the display can go to 144 Hertz. Depending which game you're playing, you may be able to take more or less advantage of this. You can configure everything as far as gameplay is concerned in the drop down menu. Man, if you want it to be a mobile game streamer, this is it. Look at this with the camera. The whole world does it, the whole world. Do you understand what I'm saying? You, down, in the fourth. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. he wants me down in the fourth! I ain't taking no dive! Okay, now I'm dead. Now the hit is out for sure. I didn't take the dive, scrambled out, muscle car, gangsters coming for me, Las Vegas, a couple desert eagles. Here you can see a live stream scenario where my face cam is activated via the landscape pop-up camera and it's super comfy to have the whole setup. It's in a completely portable package. I'm just playing the game, I'm broadcasting, it's got integration with YouTube and Twitch so you could have your whole rig up and going and in your, you know, then travel with it, put it back in the pocket. It's, uh, it's kind of incredible. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now playing a little bit of racing here with the lights off, you get a much better sense for the vibrancy of the display. It's just popping out of the darkness. And also you can get an appreciation for the sound here. Now the key thing with this phone is these triggers. They call it Octa Trigger with dual haptics, console controller like experience. And here you can see me mapping out my L1 and R1 to different sections of this particular game called Knives Out. And so this allows me to have a controller like experience where I can have the crosshairs pop up with the left shoulder and then I can go ahead and fire with the right shoulder and that lets my two thumbs keep me moving and dodging other gunfire. Now this is gonna map out differently depending on the game but you saw how quick it was to take that virtual overlay and just apply it to this particular game or any game for that matter. You notice the copy? So this does a good job of demonstrating how well this works. You can see I'm kind of just moving side to side as they attempt to fire at me. And because I have the extra buttons, I can just remain focused on pulling that trigger and never standing still. But here's the crazy part. It's not just two extra buttons up there. You've also got buttons behind there. So on the right hand top edge, there's two buttons. And on the left hand top edge, there's two buttons. So you could map those for other things, whether it's to launch another weapon or to crouch or something like that. It's just uh, so much more effective for gaming. There it is, final kill. Boom. MVP. Just when you thought you saw everything there was to see in smartphones, the Legion Phone Dual 2 hits you with a motorized landscape camera and a ridiculous spec sheet. I think it's going to impress the mobile gamers out there and also those that just want a powerhouse smartphone with a dominant championship status spec sheet.